pH, and EC are indicating values that can be used to troubleshoot problems or to define ideal growing parameters. The values, as discussed in this video, reflect the status of the container medium in which the seedlings are growing. We know that a plant's ability to sequester nutrients will vary with changes in pH. Also, we know that high fertilizer salt levels can negatively impact plant growth. Therefore, if the container medium, which is the reservoir for a seedling's nutrient and water, fluctuates in pH or salt levels, you risk deficiencies developing in that seedling which will ultimately limit function and growth. Begin by calibrating your instruments. For a pH meter, use at least two buffer solutions. For the EC meter, use the standard solution provided. Follow the directions provided with your units carefully. Next, take baseline readings of both the distilled water that you have provided and the local water source that you use to irrigate your seedlings. Then, place cups or beakers beneath the containers that you will be measuring. These vessels should have enough room to hold at least 50 milliliters of leachate. Begin to pour only distilled water through the selected containers. Be sure to use a consistent amount between all the containers being measured. When you see that the leachate has accumulated in the cups below the containers, start a timer. Wait at least 15 minutes before your measurements begin. After 15 minutes have passed, place the end of the sensor in the leachate. In this demonstration, the manager is using a pH meter. However, the same principles apply to measuring EC. Allow time for the measurement to stabilize. This will vary and can take a few minutes depending on the instrument you are using. When you're finished, record your measurement and then rinse the sensor head with distilled water and repeat with the other containers of leachate.